All right, so here we are. I've got it loaded into Mach 3, and we're doing the large step pulley. And then this is just a relief. This gives me a spacing to move the motor toward the end of the shaft.
looks pretty good so this right here will be the large diameter and then I'll come back and have to turn the smaller diameter and also the center hole this is just a half inch clearance hole right there so let me get a belt and we'll check the fit there alright let's see what we got pretty good and we've got a little bit of clearance on each side there we go a little bit of clearance on each side looks really good really happy with that all right so before I do the v-belt grooves on the small side of the pulley I'm going to go ahead and do the hole for the motor shaft now this is a 19 millimeter shaft I do not have a reamer so I'm going to just take it real slow and try to ease up on it and get a good fit So I put an M1 optional stop right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a check. All right, well, I finished up the bore. It turned out really nice, and the fit is just right. I've got a cutout for this keyway and I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet I don't have a brooch right. and you can see it sits down nice and even and it's just a nice snug fit I think it's going to turn out uh, to be pretty good um, I'm going to try and do the keyway um, if not I could probably put a couple set screws but I'd rather do try to do a keyway and a set screw so we're just going to have to see how that pans out I think I could probably this is about not quite a quarter inch so I could probably get a 3 16 end mill in there and, and just kind of go at it a little bit and then come back with a file maybe. Uh, and just keep easing up on it until I can get it to until I can get it to fit. Uh, I think that's enough for this video. So we'll call this part one and then part two. We'll come back and we'll finish up the spindle pulley. I've got to do some recess here and then we're going to bore this out to around 22 millimeters thereabouts to fit over uh, the spindle. And then we got some um, work to do on the mill. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, or questions please feel free to comment if you're interested in any of my plans for any of my conversions you can stop by the website please subscribe to the YouTube channel thumbs up if you like the video 
and most importantly, be safe.